First move, computer two. Draw card. Begin duel. Computer two, mana charge. Computer one, draw card. And welcome to round two. Mana charge. This clash of Byleths. Well, Computer two. an eventual draw clash card. of Byleths. Mana charge. When these Computer two decide to, that they've got quite card. enough mana. Mana charge. Usually they go till they've got about six mana, then they decide, you know what, I'll put a one cost out. Because that's how we roll. Mana release. <laughs> there we go. Summon. When Novice is going to kick this off, adds one to its attack half the time. Usually not the best to summon on the first turn. Computer one. Draw card. Mana charge. If you can avoid it, it's... Mana release. Mm. Yeah, it's better as a second turn, because you at least get to face it into something and make it attack. There's our swordsman! Attack. They can hit for two, so... This is going to hurt. Oh, they do have it countered with blind spots on all sides, except the front. Computer two. Draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. Summon. Oh, Blade Dancer. Ranged magic creature. Attack. Now she only pings for one. But it is magic, but because she hasn't killed a target, she'll now rotate them 180 degrees. They're now facing off the board. You've got to pay to face them into the board, which is going to cost you two mana each time. Mana charge. Nice. Mana release. Summon. This is going to be a Cloud Runner Marauder. No, it's not. It's a Queen's Courier. When it's summoned, you draw two cards and discard two. And it's discarded. Save the Zach's Calamity and a Illusion Regeneration. Sorry, Save the Zach's Cleansing. That one. Unlocked. There's too many cards, too many names. I get them mixed up. It's easy. It's always done. I've only been doing this for God knows how many years. <laughs> and I still forget. Oh well. There's too many cards. My tiny little brain can't keep up. Out comes a flame novice. Now then. Attack. Half the time doubles its attack, so... Nope, it's not going to trigger this time. Just going to hit for one. That's kind of annoying on a four-cost creature because... Got to hit it at least three times now to kill it. If it had procced, and then you got it to proc a second time, we would have killed it in two attacks, but not gonna happen now. Summon. Now comes the big boys. Out comes the terraformer. We've seen this many a times in the past. Attack. Couple of months. Only one damage. But, swaps the field it stood on with the target that it hits. So it was stood on Earth, it swapped it underneath the wood creature. The Plague Dancer, which loses two health because it is no longer stood on its home element of wood, and it loses two because it's now stood on the opposite element of Earth. It does fill up that space next to the... Novice, though. You attack it from the side. Summon. Only has one elf, so anything will kill it. Byleth War Chariot. If the target... If a target creature attack. has cost four or more, it will add two to its attack. Normally it only hits for two. 
That's because the terraformer costs four. Now I'm going to hit it. Four. Naughty terraformer. Get out of here, sir. You are not welcome, sir. Mana charge. Really don't want to piss off that thing. <laughs> For those interested, the Violet War Chariot will attack anything in front of it and to the right of it. Flailmonger! I can never remember what Flailmonger does. Adds two to the summoning cost of any enemy summoned within the two fields in front of it. It is a ranged creature as well, so it can attack the field in front or the ranged field in front of it. Just going to deal one damage to the tank. But if you want to summon in front of that Biolith now, Mana charge. on that one remaining uh, Earth uh, wood space, it will cost you two summon. more. If you compute Earth 2, that is. Computer 2 decides to not do that and go with the Verzar Swordsman. They're going to attack the Queen's Courier for two. And they don't have to worry about a counter-attack because Queen's Courier doesn't hit for anything. In fact, it just doesn't even bother attacking at all. It's pretty shit in that way. Just a damage sponge. Two are two into check. Two creatures are on one. Plenty ways out of this. Summon. And a Cloud Runner Marauder is a cheeky way out. Attack. Going to take out the novice. It and that's enough to take care of that. Does fall into a little bit of danger now that Computer 2 Monitor. could just resummon into that spot and currently there's nothing to hit it. Plus it's also allowing Computer 2 to summon to the rear of those uh, Vezar Swordsmen in the top right corner and just take them out. Which it looks like that's exactly what's going to happen. Here comes a Vezar Swordsman. They do hit for two. They are going to get an extra hit. Because they're hitting a blind spot. And there they go. Mana charge. It was me personally. I would now reactivate those Cloud Runner Marauders from the previous turn. Take out those guys and summon them in that spot. Summon. It's not me playing. Athenix Citadel will be the weapon of choice. Magic creature. Attack. So anything on the board's going to get zapped, and it's just going to go straight for these Vezar Swordsmen. The reason I was saying where I was before about the Cloud from the Marauder attacking is you could kill the guys in the centre with the uh, Cloud Runner Marauders, and then have the Athenex Citadel kill those guys, and you'd get two kills in one turn. Oh, computer one back in check. There is a way out, just kill the Queen's Courier, for example. D's Command has been cast. Choose one allied creature that you can act that you can activate to attack. The target creature attacks without paying its activation cost. So D's command is you is a four cost to use and to reactivate this war chariot would cost four. So he's just saved one mana on that attack. And it mana takes out charge. the marauders. Was obviously a spell, so he can now summon something else. Three foxes, it's going to rotate the Furmonger. Which means that those two fields that were in front of it now do not have an increased summoning okay. cost. Nice way to screw over a Flailmonger. Especially when it's in the corner space like that. 
make it face off the board, it loses its ability and it's just, no, I, I'm not doing anything now. Computer one, draw card. Computer one has a few ways out of this, there's two creatures on one. I'm gonna pay two to reactivate the Citadel. I'm gonna ping those foxes for their very rude behaviour. And out comes a flame novice. Not gonna face the center. I would just face it into the center, why not? Check. Computer two. Anyway, it's just gonna face that way. Computer two can get out of this just by killing the Queen's couriers. Summon. Which is what it's going to do. Dwarf snipers mean that the two targets in front of them cannot use dodge. Two spaces in front of them cannot use dodge. Not that these guys were anyway. They're dead. We'll have also noticed that he summoned the dwarf snipers, which are of an earth element, onto a wood element. But they lost two health when they were summoned. And two one ones for computer two. Not good. Many ways out. Cost. Summon. Now comes a Firemonger. Oh dear. Attack. Yeah. This is gonna hurt. Only deals one attack, one damage, but it only needs to. It cleaves both of those guys. And it also makes those two fields in that center row cost an extra two on the summoning cost. If Computer 2 wants to summon there. Oof. That's a big cost. Now comes the Terraformer. He's going to go after the Flame Novice. Attack. The Flame Novice is going to swap the water field it stood on with the Flame Element, which is home for the Flame Novice. It's going to lose two health for being on the wrong element, and two more for not being on its home element anymore. That's a dead Novice. Computer one. Draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. Did have to pay two extra there Summon. to get that terraform out, by the way. Because it's summoned it in front of the flowermonger. Out comes a tank! Attack. The computer one. Terraformer in the middle costs four. So this tank is now hitting for four damage. We thought the previous double kill was good. That's even better. Very good, sir. Double kill, sir. Mana charge. Mana charge. One dead terraformer, one dead tank. Oof. Spicy. So effectively, that terraformer died being a four cost just to get rid of a one cost flame novice. Ugh. Savage. Spell. Summon a Mesmer's Errand. Draw two cards. Always think that if you're drawing two cards and we're at this stage, you're really desperate. You're hoping for a Hail Mary. I don't think there's really anything that's going to really do much for him. Summon. No. Got no answer to the flanking. Ugh, the flanking amounts of Byleth strength on either side of him. Oh, just tickle the Citadel. <laughs> oh. 
And Computer One just needs to summon for the win, but I would try and go with a bit of style. Can he kill anything? Or cost. Summon. This is probably a terraformer. Yeah. The terraformer is going to hit the bi the novice for okay. one. Swap its element, which means that it's going to lose the bonus two health from being on fire, because it's now going to be stood on Biolith. Yes. There's nothing like a kill to assert dominance at the end. <laughs> and you're dead. Mana charge. Ooh, that's a lot of Bioliths. A lot of pain. Computer One wins.